What's behind this quest to ditch the dollar? In no small part, the answer is US weaponization of the dollar through the use of sanctions. Much of the international trade, international loans and global debt securities are denominated in US dollars. The dollar has held a dominant position globally, granting the US an outsized level of influence of economies and consistently providing limited alternatives concerning US foreign policies. The desire to abandon the US dollar as the primary means of exchange for international trade is not new. The difference today is that it has in a fairly short amount of time gone from being a topic of debate to an impending reality and possible execution is underway. In Africa, the debate has heated up as many countries grapple with the effects of Russia-Ukraine war and the ballooning inflation. As world interest rates rise, financial conditions have tightened considerably for many countries. A stronger dollar only compounds this pressure, especially for some emerging markets and many low-income countries that are already at a high risk of debt distress. Recent discussions about de-dollarization have sparked interest and speculation in the global financial arena. Russia, a member of the BRICS nations Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, has taken the lead in developing a new currency for cross-border trade among BRICS countries. The new development bank, rather than the International Monetary Fund, was tasked with finding ideas for how to achieve this. It's been hailed by some as a major step towards creating an alternative to the dollar. The idea of relying less on the US dollar as the primary reserve currency and the primary means of exchange has gained traction with prominent figures like Brazil's president Lula da Silva questioning the need for countries to base their trade on the dollar. Eu toda noite me pergunto por que que todos os países estão obrigados a fazer, a fazer seu comércio lastreado no dólar. Por que que nós não podemos fazer o nosso comércio lastreado na nossa moeda? Por que que nós não temos o compromisso de inovar? These new developments challenge the idea that the dollar's dominance is secure. Where the euro, yen, yuan are considered weaker competitors, a BRICS issued currency would be unique. It would bring together more countries whose concerns on sanctions and US foreign policy are constantly growing. While previous attempts to challenge the dollar's dominance have not yielded significant results, the potential introduction of a BRICS issued currency presents a new opportunity. This currency could offer an alternative and disrupt the dollar's position as the reserve currency for BRICS members. Unlike past proposals, such as a digital yuan, this currency has the potential to shake the dollar's reign. If the BRICS nations exclusively use their own currency for trade, Russia would no longer need to hold its trade proceeds in dollars. This shift could pave way for de-dollarization. The possibility of BRICS countries relying on their own currency for trade is realistic. In 2022, the BRICS collectively ran a trade surplus of $387 billion, primarily due to China's contributions. The BRICS nations have the potential to surpass existing currency unions in achieving self-sufficiency in international trade. Unlike geographically concentrated currency unions like the Eurozone, the BRICS currency union can take advantage of its members' diverse locations to produce a wider range of goods. This geographic diversity offers opportunities for self-sufficiency, unlike the Eurozone, which had a $476 billion trade deficit in 2022. The BRICS countries would not be limited to trading only among themselves. With each member being an economic powerhouse in their respective regions, Countries worldwide would likely be willing to conduct business using the BRICS currency. Additionally, goods produced in one country could bypass trade restrictions by being exported to a third country and then re-exported. This dynamic would allow for continued trade despite bilateral tensions. The idea comes with its own set of challenges, but it also opens up opportunities for success. In order to replace the US dollar, the BRICS currency would need to provide attractive and secure investment options for individuals and institutions looking to pack their funds. This is crucial for establishing confidence and stability in the new system. Fortunately, the BRICS nations have trade surpluses, which means they are earning more from their exports than they are spending on imports. This surplus provides a financial cushion and reduces the dependency on attracting foreign investments to support their economies. One crucial aspect of being a reserve currency is the presence of a large, well-developed sovereign bond market. The US Treasury market surpasses all other countries in terms of size, variety of maturities, liquidity, settlement, derivatives, and other essential features. The absence of a bond market where reserves can be invested is the primary obstacle to another currency becoming a reserve. This is why displacing US Treasuries as reserve assets is challenging. No other country in the world can match the US in terms of bond market capabilities. However, an interesting development is the potential for the BRICS currency to establish a deep and liquid bond market that could rival US treasuries. This would require creating a BRICS currency bond market simultaneously 
in several of their member countries, with retail investors in each country purchasing these bonds. These BRICS bonds would be available through various outlets like banks and other retail channels. While they would be denominated in BRICS currency, investors could purchase them using their local currency at market-based exchange rates. The BRICS currency being backed by gold would offer an appealing store of value compared to potentially inflation-prone or default-prone local instruments in countries like Brazil or Argentina. The attractiveness of such investments would be particularly significant for the Chinese who face restrictions on foreign markets and have substantial investments in real estate and domestic stocks. By combining these approaches, the BRICS countries aim to stimulate domestic demand for BRICS assets, gradually reducing their reliance on foreign investors. This strategy would help create a self-sustaining market for the currency and potentially increase its attractiveness as an alternative reserve currency among the BRICS nations. Overall, while there may be practical challenges involved, the BRICS nations recognize the potential benefits and are working towards establishing the currency as a viable alternative to the US dollar. Assets denominated in the BRICS currency would also have unique characteristics that could make them attractive to foreign investors. Unlike gold, which does not pay interest, these currencies backing by gold and other metals with intrinsic value could create interest-paying assets. This combination of interest-bearing properties and diversification potential could be appealing to investors seeking both features. Other challenges of introducing a common currency for the BRICS nations lies in the role of national central banks. The currency would primarily serve as a medium of exchange for international trade rather than being in widespread domestic circulation. This would complicate the responsibilities of national central banks as they would need to adjust their focus from solely managing domestic monetary policies to coordinating with a supranational central bank. Establishing such a central bank, similar to the European Central Bank, would require significant effort including harmonizing monetary policies and navigating differences in economic structures and objectives among the BRICS members. Furthermore, geopolitical dynamics among the BRICS countries could pose additional complications. While the BRICS share common interest in challenging the dominance of the US dollar in global trade and finance, their individual geopolitical ambitions and strategic priorities may differ. These diverging interests could lead to disagreements and hinder progress towards establishing a common currency. Managing these geopolitical complexities would require extensive diplomatic efforts and compromises to ensure that the cooperation within the specific area of de-dollarization prevails, even as other interests diverge. Despite these challenges, the notion of de-dollarization and reducing reliance on the US dollar is an area where the BRICS cooperation could still hold potential. The BRICS countries have long voiced concerns about the vulnerabilities associated with the global financial system being heavily reliant on a single currency. Introducing a BRIC currency could provide a means to diversify their foreign exchange reserves, reduce exposure to currency fluctuations, and increase economic autonomy. By collaborating on initiatives related to trade settlement, investment, and financial cooperation, the BRICS nations could make strides towards reducing the dominance of the US dollar in global transactions. It is important to note that the introduction of a common currency among the BRICS nations is not a short-term goal. The challenges involved are complex and multifaceted, requiring careful consideration and collaboration. The European Union, with the euro as its common currency, provides valuable lessons on the intricate process and institutional arrangements necessary for successful monetary integration. In conclusion, it is worth thinking out loud. Since the end of the Second World War, the dollar has held a position of global dominance as the primary currency. However, when the COVID-19 pandemic emerged in March 2020, the United States implemented quantitative easing measures and printed around $3.3 trillion in new money. Consequently, this has had negative repercussions on the world economy, leading to increased inflation, higher interest rates, and market instability. As a result of the actions taken by the US monetary policy, the global economy has suffered potentially signaling the beginning of a shift towards an alternative currency. Could the end of COVID-19 mark the beginning of a new era with a new currency?